What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Annie here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you guys are joining me today in my kitchen. Yes, this is not a workout video. This is a food video because I am trying to keep my nutrition and my health on check. In about two weeks, I'm giving birth to a baby girl, so <laughs> I'm trying to do anything and everything to keep my body as healthy as possible, especially now that my workouts have definitely come down to about one or two days a week. So with that being said, we are making one of my most favorite recipes, especially during these August, September, October months, like that fall when tomatoes are in season. This is the best tomato soup recipe you will ever taste. Like it is so good, so easy, so healthy. I'm gonna stop talking because I'm already hungry for it. So let's jump right into it. So this recipe, we're gonna think about it in two parts. So part one, set your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You're gonna get about six to eight really ripe, fresh tomatoes. Mine are heirloom tomatoes. My dad grows them in his garden, so they could not be more fresh than what I have. Thank goodness for him because they are some of the best tomatoes I've eaten this summer. You're gonna take about six to eight of them. You're gonna slice them in half and place them on a cookie sheet. For the larger ones, because obviously tomatoes come in all shapes and sizes, you can cut those maybe into thirds. But again, you're just cutting them down the middle, placing them on a top of a cookie sheet. We're gonna drizzle with olive oil, salt, and pepper, toss it all together. And then we're gonna put them in that oven, that 400 degree oven, for about 30 to 40 minutes till they caramelize and get really juicy. Now on to part two of the recipe. So you can do this while the tomatoes are cooking or once they're done out of the oven. In a big pot, I love this Le Crusette pot because you can cook literally anything and everything in it. You're going to put a little bit of olive oil, about two tablespoons of olive oil, and one chopped onion, medium-sized onion, chopped up finely, Toss that in, saute it, get those onions nice and translucent. And because we're gonna make like a little bit of a kick to this tomato soup, we want all the flavor, of course, you're gonna do about one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Once those onions cook for about five to 10 minutes and get translucent, about four cloves of crushed garlic goes into that pot. While that garlic is cooking, we can chop up some basil. Again, this basil came straight from my dad's garden, so it is so fresh and so good. We're gonna chop up about anywhere between a quarter cup to a half a cup of fresh basil. Toss that in. And now we're going to add one big 28 ounce can of San Marzano tomatoes. Finally, you're gonna add chicken broth. I always use organic free range chicken broth that's low sodium. You can add the entire box if you want it liquidy or I did about three quarters of the box. Once the soup has simmered for 20 minutes, get any blender you want out. I love the Vitamix blender and you're gonna take half of the soup so ladle half of the soup out of the pot and put it in the blender. And now take that blended soup from the blender and put it back into the chunky pot of soup. And how easy is that recipe? Yes, it takes a little bit of time, but it is so good. If you try this recipe out at home, leave comments down below, let me know what you think of it. You can also follow me on Instagram at Annie Taylor News. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And once this little baby is here, I promise these workouts will resume on my channel, but let me know what you think of this recipe. I love you guys so much, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.